On May 9th, Hitler broadcasts that he will not invade the Netherlands. On May 10th, Germany attacks the Netherlands. Families were killed and beautiful museums and cathedrals and hospitals. Rosa Parks gave us the initiative when she sat down so the rest of us could stand up. And for me, Dee Amon has done that her entire life. Standing up for other people in a time in their life where they have no one to turn to. And Deet said, enough. For Deet and Hein, this meant putting their wedding plans on hold to initiate the first of many resistance efforts. In terms of Deet being a ally in saving the Jewish people during the Holocaust, uh, her story to me is incredibly inspiring. And then Hein got this great idea. His father was the principal of a Christian grade school in the country. He said, if I hop on the train and I ask any of those farmers, will you take Herman till the end of the war? I'm sure they say yes. There were many people coming. Can you hide my brother? Can you hide my cousin? And then within a few weeks, we had a list of over 60 because they told each other and then we were asked, can you help, can you help? And somehow they just kept going. They just kept finding another farm, finding another hiding spot. That's how it started. I learned as a nurse that you can't take the sickness home. In 2010, the Red Cross honored DEET with our Hometown Hero Award. We look for people who have done extraordinary things in their community. DEET has had an impact with the patients, but also with the other volunteers. She presents not only the ability to understand the medical environment, because she is a nurse, but she brings her understanding of cultural differences. When you perform the acts that she did, when you put yourself at risk the way she did, it's not to be a hero. It's just because this is the right thing to do. When she sees injustice, she says, why not me? Why am I not involved? Deet has such resilience and such a drive to eradicate injustice. No matter what she's doing, she's always in service of others. And that, to me, is a remarkable life story. Your whole life ahead of you is making decisions. Because you come every time, shall I do this, should I? I said, make the right decision. Because otherwise, later when you're old and you stand in the mirror and you brush your teeth and you think, I should have done this, you can't go back. What a story. What a life. This woman's unselfish dedication to serve should it be an inspiration to us all. Unfortunately, the recipient of the 2011 Rosa Parks Memorial Award, Deet Aman, could not travel to be with us tonight. But she has taped a short thank you message. Please look. Well, I had never dreamt that I would be sitting in Grand Rapids and receiving this beautiful honor, and especially the Rosa Parks Award. That means a lot to me. And I thank the NEA very much for it. And I never would have thought when about 30 years ago I lived in New York and my kids played with Diane Gonzalez and she is now in the NEA and that this would happen so many years later. And I'm very grateful and I feel very honored, especially with that award because Rosa Parks stood up what she believed in and I admire her greatly. And I thank everybody involved. Thank you very much.